Hello everybody, thanks for dropping in. Right, this is video number seven now. Um, we're going to talk today about tonguing, starting notes. Okay, um, there's various ways of uh, making notes sound. There's quite abrupt ways, there's quite smooth ways. So first of all, we're going to talk about single tonguing. That means starting notes individually with the tongue in a detached uh, method. So, if you remember in lesson one, we said uh, to start a note, you get your tongue behind your top teeth and trap the air and then release the air and say, da. Okay, that is fine. So, standard playing, we use um, the detached mode. Okay, so each individual note has a start point and has a stop point. In actual fact, how do you stop a note? <clears throat> There's many, many tutor books about that tell you how to start notes, but nobody tells you how to stop one. Well, it's easy, okay? You just stop blowing, okay? Okay, now the thing is, don't get into the bad habit of trying to stop notes with your tongue. Ta okay, and lifting your tongue, because just slightly before the note actually stops, because you're pushing your tongue up, the air goes faster and the note goes sharp. So we get little errors in the actual pitch. So stop the note by stopping the air. Okay. So now then we, we have other methods of tonguing. And if we have a look um, at this little list here, I'll move over here so you can see me. So single tonguing, line one, stave one. Okay. <laughs> So that's, that's your detached type, stopping the air between each individual note. Still single tonguey, but now legato. So this means the tongue's still working. It's working fast, but instead of stopping the note, you, you just let the air carry on flowing, and the tongue has the effect of interrupting the flow. So therefore you get a more legato, as we call it. Um, style of playing so it's the next way is producing a slurred passage as we've already spoken about where you tongue the first note and then slur the rest okay but you don't want to do that too much otherwise it, everything sounds like you're doing a snake charming act so just make sure you pick the right type of tonguing for the, the right melody Right, now let's get on to a little bit more um, detailed tonguing. Sforzando. Okay, sforzando is heavily accented. So if you can see that, it usually has SF underneath for a heavily accented note, which then you sustain. Okay, so that's sforzando. Sforzando piano, which you can see on line three. Now this is more difficult because as soon as you've accented the start of the note, you've got to drop the volume to piano, to soft. And the difficult thing about that is the pitch. Because as soon as you drop the actual volume, okay, the tendency is for the note to go flat. So you've got to really listen to the sound and alter the air speed to give you the right pitch. Okay, and keep that pitch. Okay, so those are the three standard ways of tonguing. Now we get on to more, can I say, um, <laughs> faster ways of doing things. Um, the main, the main one is double tonguing. Now, double tonguing is not exactly uh, what it says. Double tongue, you've not got two tongues, obviously. Um, but what you do, you tongue the first note of a pair using the conventional me method, whether it's legato or detached, da. Okay? Now, as if you drop your tongue and say da, then the middle to back of your tongue rises up, da. Okay, so what you do, you form 
the next tonged bit with the back of that tongue. So you say ga, da, ga. So it's like your tongue being on a seesaw. Da, ga, da, ga, da, ga. So it allows you to play a lot faster, okay? But it is a technique that takes quite a while to um, get perfect, okay? You, you need to be able to do this at any speed. In fact, the, the reason we have double tongue is whatever your fastest single tongue is, is to take from that point and go faster. So we start off with single tongue. see so that needs blending in okay with with your slow to fast back to slow you need to be in control of all that speed using your tongue an extension to that now is doing two with your tongue da da and then the same with your throat ga da da ga that then gives you triplets as the fifth line on this um, this sheet okay this is normally used for soloists we're playing triplet polkas and the like so i'll just play the first bar and then the second bar i'll play faster you see what i mean so this is more for effect you can get lots of solos with these um, effects going in the triplet polkas uh, Ever is you name it. It's for show. Okay. It's for soloists to show their virtuosity So I hope you've enjoyed this uh, video <clears throat> As you see there's lots to playing brass instruments um, Tonguing is just part of it. We've, we've done flexibility and the slurring part of it. So Obviously between these videos that I'm doing there's a lot of work needs to go on to get these honed these skills honed um, so Please carry on, use these videos as reference, keep coming back to them. But if you do enjoy what we're doing, remember to subscribe. Okay? Thank you again once again for your company. See you next time.